Thank you for joining me on Saturday the 12th of September for the last in our series of Thought for the Day called True Love. The last few days we've been looking at 1 Corinthians 13, Paul's great essay on love which is often read at weddings. Today we start with a couple of verses from another of Paul's letters, Romans, and uh, this is often read at funerals. In fact, this is almost always read as uh, verses at the start of a funeral, uh, Romans 8, verses 38 and 39. For I am convinced, right Paul, writes Paul, that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Do you get the comfort in those words? Why is this read at funerals when people are desperate for comfort, when people are raw with emotion, the sadness of losing a loved one? Because in this, these verses, Paul assures us that death does not separate us from God's love. God's love overrides even death itself. You see, when we lose someone who's close to us, uh, we are separated from them, but Paul says neither we nor the person we've lost is ever separated from God's love. It's a brilliant, brilliant message of comfort. But of course, how else could God's love operate? We're told in another passage, this is uh, John's first letter, 1 John verse, uh, chapter, eight, uh, chapter 4, verse 8. John says, whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. In other words, of course God's love goes on forever and ever because it's, it's an integral part of his character. God never dies and so love never dies. That's what true love is like. You and I never need to be afraid that God will stop loving us. He could no more stop loving us than he could stop being God. Now, if we want to think about what true love means for, for us to practice as Christians, then it means that our love, like God's, needs to go on and on. We can't stop loving our brothers and sisters just because we're bored of them or just because we've, we've worked hard enough at that and it's time to do something else. We need to go on loving the way that God never stops loving us. God will never get bored of loving you or me. God will never say, I've had enough. God is love. Jesus says, if we love one another, it'll be so distinctive that the whole world will know that we're Christ's disciples. Nobody else is going to love in that way. Will you and I? I hope this has been a good exploration of love for you and for me this week uh, in our True Love series. But I don't just want us to know more about love. My prayer is that you and I and others at St John's will love one another better and better so that uh, St John's will be a place where God's love is reflected in the way that we treat one another. Let's pray as we close. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your eternal love uh, from which nothing, not even death itself, can separate us. And we pray that all the things we've learned about your love for us this week are things that we may put into practice as we seek to love one another for Christ's sake. Amen. Oh man, thanks again for joining me. Tomorrow, Sunday the 13th of September, we are restarting two new two of our uh, services that have been uh, in abeyance during lockdown. So the 8.30 Book of Common Prayer Communion service, that restarts tomorrow, 8.30 on Sunday the 13th of September. We've got 10 o'clock church as usual, and then 4 o'clock church is restarting in the hall. Met virtually every week during lockdown. Tomorrow we restart live at four o'clock, particularly aimed at uh, the younger families. Hope you can join me at one or other of those and our 10 o'clock service as usual will, will be recorded and available via virtual church by sort of two o'clock in the afternoon. So if you don't want to come to our building, then uh, join us online in the afternoon. Thanks again and uh, God bless you.